a self-confessed rat bag with a disarming smile. Oh, that's a good question. A penchant for piercings. I try and be intimidating, doesn't always work, so I've got some piercings in my face. And a need for speed. Proud South Australian Megan Shute has evolved from the frustrated teenager who almost quit competitive cricket because it was too hard to be the world's number one ranked T20 bowler. It's an achievement she never thought possible even after finally breaking into the Australian yes. team. Our bowling coach at the time, Joe Dawes, he said to me, like, what's your goal? And I was like, I don't know, to be in the top 20 bowlers in the world? He's like, why not number one? And I was like, don't be stupid. But Dawes was onto something. He'd identified the fierce determination that complemented Shoot's natural athleticism and developing skill set. Provided she could put in the hard work, it was only a matter of time. And from there, my perspective just kind of changed of, well, why not aim for number one? I don't know, I think I like the fierceness of being a bowler. I think I'm pretty lucky that I'm an in-swinger. That's, I think, my point of difference. And I think if I was an out-swinger doing the same thing, I wouldn't be as successful. Shoot snared a team-high 10 wickets in Australia's memorable T20 World Cup win in the West Indies last year. Oh, uh, it was phenomenal, to be honest. I didn't have a T20 Cup under my belt, and to do it in the West Indies, such a fun environment, and we genuinely just played with such fun and fearlessness. She's a key member of the Adelaide Strikers and last year was made captain of South Australia's Women's National Cricket League team, the Scorpions. I think it's making me more sensible. I'm a bit of an idiot sometimes and I kind of show that a lot in front of the kids and I'm trying to tone that down a lot to, I guess, to be a good leader, but at the end of the day, I can't change myself too much. But... Her wife, Jess, wouldn't want her to change either. She's my absolute rock and I'm so thankful to her because she puts up with my crap every day. Um, I'm a bit forward and opinionated and sometimes a bit too much at times and she kind of brings me back down to earth and tells me when I need to start being nicer and I guess it's a bit yin and yang and that's why we make a good couple. A hectic 12 months lay ahead for Shoot and the Australian women's team, beginning with an Away Ashes series in July. Just don't ask her to win a game with the bat. If you watch me bat, you realise why I'm not a batter. But 